In Star Wars Outlaws, I'll be taking control of a character called Kay, who wants to start a new life with a ridiculously cute pet, Nyx. To do this, I'll need to pull off a great heist, all while I attempt to beat 100% of the game and earn all 50 trophies, which involves finding all of Nyx's treasures, doing some hacking, a little bit of gambling here and there, completing 40 contracts, reaching the maximum reputation with different factions, and of course, getting myself a new ship and finding a crew. It begins with me thanking Ubisoft for the code and with some people having a nice little meal before it turning not so nice. Oh Jesus. I then meet our main characters, Kay and Nyx. It's a big day, the day of the heist. I wake up and I go downstairs. I meet Bram who gives me my first job and a hacking tool, uh, but it's broken. So I need to go and I need to get it fixed. But before heading out, I place a cheeky little bet on this race. So I'm guessing it's best to bet on this one. Right, we've only got five, so we're just going to bet five and hope we win. Come on, Green, move your ass. Yes, Green, do your thing. I think it won at the end. Yeah, we won. <laughs> we went from five credits to 11. Look at us. We're rich already. Once outside, I get a great view and I head to the merchant. He wants 100 credits to repair it, which I don't have. So let's get some. Currently got 11. Okay, let's figure out how to earn some more. What is this little thing? Oh, we can pet the animals. It's like a, it's like a tiny... Kangaroo. What's that? Ooh, 20 credits. Nice. Oh, steal? Wait, I can get Nyx to steal? Let's see what happens with this. Oh, did you just jump on and steal his cash? Oh, that's cool. Got another 25, right? We got 56. We're getting there slowly. Okay, let's go see Preven. Alright, I've got 100 credits. Alright, there we go. My data spikes have been repaired. Now, we're going to find a way into the club. There we go. We can use our data spikes to hack these or something. All right. So to do this, we've basically got to press R2 with the time of the beat. Okay. So. Sweet. There's our first hack. Oh, she's got like a little grapple hook. <laughs> Nyx just jumps on the back like a backpack. All right. We've got a bit of a uh, traversal. Oh, Nyx can activate the buttons. Oh, there's a button in there. Guess I can get him to jump through the window. Oh my, Nyx is a little legend. All right, we're inside the club. We made it. So we're here because we need to steal some forged identity cards from the office. Oh, we stole a key card from the uh, the guard. All right, use the key card to open the door. Oh, we're going to stealth take down. So we got a little bit of stealth. All right, we made it to the office. Right, we got another lock to pick. There we go. We got him. Uh oh. Our first gunfight. Oh, we can have Nyx attack. Oh, nice. Get him, Nyx. Right, so we got stun attack as well, she said. Alright, we out of there. Let's get back home. Unfortunately, they followed me back and blasted up the bar and shot my good friend Bram in the leg. Thankfully though, he's okay. Alright, we're out of here. We have to do a bit of sneaking. We can't get caught. A bit of rooftop parkour. A bit of grappling. Nice. So we're looking for the crew. Alright, looks like we found our crew. Now let's get the hell out of here. Alright, we have arrived. And my mission is to steal the loot from someone's vault. It's quite the view from up here. Look at that thing. Climbing up the side of the building. We're going to get inside. All right, we're in. Distractions going off. We need to get our asses to the vault. Inside, I avoid some cameras, sneak through some vents, and of course, hack some doors and disable an alarm. Now you see me, now you don't. All right, we see the vault. We just got to get through these barriers. Access computer. Slice. And we got another hacking mini game. All right, so if it's blue, it's in the right location. If it's red, it doesn't actually go anywhere. And if it's yellow, it means we do need to use it, but it's in the wrong place. So these two we do need to use, but they're in the wrong section. So let's try this, this, this. So again, we do use those two, but wrong locations. So then it has to be that and then that. 
Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Open vault security. Once I get to the vault door, I'm greeted by a security eye thing that denied me access because of course it did. So I call up my crew member and they tell me the code. There it is. It's opening. What's inside though? Wait, what? It's just a person? It turns out it was actually a person I was saving and not getting any treasure. Lame. They asked me to join them in fighting the Empire. Apparently I was wasting time, so my crew member knocked me out. Really? I then get a flashback of Kay's mum teaching me how to steal, and a lesson that you can't always trust people. What was your lesson? Can't trust someone's always gonna be there. That's my girl. Now back to the present day. Oh no, we've been captured. Brilliant. I'll quickly escape with Nix's help, someone I can actually trust. Oh, we are out of here. Escape from the mansion. Ooh, explosions. We need to get the hell out of here. <laughs> We're gonna steal the ship. <laughs> bye bye, suckers. We're leaving. Oh, we better brace for impact. There it is. Star Wars Outlaws. We're now officially an outlaw. Nice, we've got a new jacket. And things weren't much better after I landed. This mechanic almost I, I, took my head off. And then looters arrived. Jesus, what planet did we land on? Under pressure, K's adrenaline meter fills. Then we can press L and R to do adrenaline rush shots. Mark. Oh, this is like Red Dead Redemption. I mean, that is basically Dead Eye, isn't it? Nice. All right, so we've got our new objective. He's gonna fix the ship. I need some money though and some parts. Freeze, just walk right through my ship, okay. But uh, he needs some parts to fix it. So he said, take this speeder and we're gonna get our asses over there and make some cash. Ooh, made it somehow. Beautiful. There we go. Got our own little speeder. Oh, this is pretty quick. Wow. So the game's just totally opened up now so we can probably explore this planet. Ooh, like a banther. I performed a perfect landing. Oh, what a noob. <laughs> oh my god, his body's flying. <laughs> a little while later, I finally arrived at the planet's main city. Luckily, I go past the guard with my fake ID. Work to charm. I got a VIP invite to his private suite. Only way to get up there. You interested? Oh, you can get me in there, can I? 50 credits. Nah, I'm good, bro. I'll see if I can figure my way in myself. I'll be here when you change your mind. When I change my mind, okay. How about I just sneak up there? Let's uh, see, here we go. Override lock. I ain't paying no guy for a VIP pass, mate. I'll make my own way in. Made my way to the cantina. I met this geezer, who, you know, wasn't too happy to see me. Well, that didn't go too well. Made my way in and he just threw me straight back out. Ooh, what did he get? He grabbed a ring. Maybe I'll sell that for a little bit of money to buy some parts. And then outside I met someone called Danka. Quite the name. Okay, so we got like different factions. So she's telling me that she's got jobs for us and there's like different groups that we can work for. Uh, so we're gonna have to earn reputation with the different factions. All right, so this is my criminal network, my reputation with the different factions. So we got the Syndicate, of course, we're poor with all of them. We've got the Crimson Dawn and Hut Cartel. Good old Jabba. So we need to try and improve our reputation with each faction. But of course, when we start working for a rival faction, it's going to decrease the other one. So if we're in terrible reputation, they'll basically hunt us down and they won't let us in areas. And they won't really give us good deals. If it's bad, they at least won't kill us. Poor. They have restricted areas and they might have jobs for us. Then once we become good friends with them, they'll welcome us into new areas, give us more opportunities, give us better deals and also gift us cosmetics. And if we get excellent, we'll get amazing deals. They trust us. They'll give us loads of good gear and they'll allow us to basically take whatever we need from syndicate areas. But before all that, we've got infiltrate Gorex base to go and grab some sensitive information. Well, yeah, so because the syndicate reputation is poor, they won't allow us in. So we have to find another way in. All right, we made it inside the base. I got Nyx to trigger an explosion. 
<laughs> nice. All right, we finally made it inside. Now well, let's see if we can find what we're looking for. All right, we got what we needed. And the alarms are going off. All right, let's get our asses out of here. What did he bring, miss? Sniper blaster. Oh, hell yeah. Well, bam. 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 Easy does it. All right, we got out in one piece. It's a miracle. Yep, I want to get off this place. We need a fuel injector. Okay. I then met this guy who said if I give him some credits to gamble, he would split the winnings. We trust him. We do it. This is probably going to be a big waste of time, but we'll give it a go. Come back later. You won't regret it. I I hope so. Otherwise, you get a bullet between the eyes. And there's a big gap there between them, so I'm probably not gonna miss. Now we can play arcade games. We got time for a game, right? Let's have a go. I don't know what that says, but it only costs one credit. Cheap. Wait, what do I do? Oh, that's a boost. Oh, I'm acing it. Oh my god. Oh I did it, I think. Yeah, I completed it. Didn't get first place, but you know, I'll take it. Now heading back to Danka, I met with Valera from the Crimson Dawn. So they're bribing me now, I think. They know that we're wanted, so they're saying work for us and uh, we won't grass you up. Lovely. Ooh, so we get our first choice. So we can give the information to Crimson Dawn or we can save it for the syndicate. I'm going to keep it. There we go. We got some nice pay. We got over a thousand credits and we got a little bit of reputation. New key apart, the fuel injector. Give him what he needed. Reputation's been increased. So we're now in good standing with him. All right, we got a new job. Sabotage. Okay, so for this next job, I need to upgrade my blaster. New location. We're arrived at the market. This is where I can do all my upgrades. The shop that I needed to come to to upgrade my blaster. There we go. Iron casing. So with the first part, I now headed into Pike territory to steal the second part. What is this? If it's like a synchronization spot or something. Look at the view. Treasure retrieved. Carver's maze. Collectible. Whoa. <laughs> Check out the ship, Nix. Walker's been busy. Done a lot of work on it already. Nice. All right, so this is the workbench. This is where we can modify the blaster. So we can turn it into a burst rifle. All right, so now we've upgraded the blaster. We can do the mission for Danka. Use delivery crate. Oh, wow, I've got loads of customization stuff. Huh, I'll take all of it. All right, let's use the wardrobe. Should be able to select some new stuff. That one looks very familiar. Customized Nyx as well. I like the little uh, the little bag. There we go. We can change the appearance as well. So we got this one and this one. Now we can change the speed area as well. Might be able to uh, customize the look of it. Oh, nice. So we got like a little cape, a little pendant. See, it seems like you can do quite a lot of customization for your, your bike as well, which is really cool. I hope you can do as much as you can on Days Gone. Like the customization in Days Gone for the bike is so freaking cool. Ooh, you get a custom paint job as well. We can actually upgrade it as well, like performance wise, but... We've not got any other parts for that just yet, but we got a new look. I'm digging it. So this is why I needed the upgrade for the pistol. If I press triangle, I can switch between them. If I equip that one, that charges that and opens the door up. Now we can get in and loot the cash. Here it is. There you go, Danka. I've got the thing you needed. Oh, Wacker's ready. He's repaired the ship, but before I head back to the ship, I got some intel on a very important upgrade for my speeder. The bartender knows somewhere where we can get a booster for our speeder. Okay, so she knows someone who's good at doing upgrades, but she's gone missing, so we have to go find her. Okay, well, let's go and repair the ship first. Ah, so it seems we can also do quite a lot of upgrades for the ship as well. All right, there we go. So we have installed the repulsion. We should be able to fly now. Okay, she's got another job. She wants me to sneak in somewhere and delete some data. Oh, he's got, Nix has got a little sleeping spot. All right, he's confident it'll fly. Take off. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Right, there we are, we're in space. Oh, bit of combat. All right, give me the cargo. There we go. With that cargo, I told the Empire that we had a delivery for them. This was my way of getting into the base. So we followed some TIE fighters and landed. On board the base, I now had some sneaking to do. 
I had to reach the data vault without being detected. Easy peasy, I slowly made my way past these two and used this to get past a whole bunch more while Wacker distracted. Sneaky sneaker. Crawled through some vents and quickly took out these three before they could set off the alarm and then access the computer, opening the vault door and getting its location. Now let's get to it. Swung across a few things and failed. And then again and again, because I'm a bloody idiot. I fell in that hole again, because I, as I said, I am an idiot. <laughs> After finally making it, all right, let's delete this data. Turns out the date was actually a head in a jar who held many of their dirty secrets. I had him delete some files and in return, he wanted me to get him out. While breaking him out, I got into a little bit of trouble, but nothing I can't handle. I watched as these idiots ran right past me. I guess I'm not the only idiot on board. All right, we've set off the evacuation alarm. We should be able to get out of here finally. Pick my 20th lock. Ooh, get rhythm. Oh god, I fought my way through tons of enemies and then dashed to my ship. Let's get the hell out of here. Boost. Let's go. After leaving, I had a few star fighters to defeat. Nothing I can't handle. There we go. We're finally back on the ground. Feels good. I handed over the weird head thing to the pike box to get in his good box. After that, I played my first game of Sabacc. All right, let's buy in. Money cost 100, we've got 2,200, so we're good. All right, round one, how does this work? So I think we have to get a matching set of cards. And the, what, the closest to zero is better, I guess? Okay, let's try. So we've got two and a three, which clearly isn't a pair, so we need to get that as a pair. So draw, and then, so that's five, and that's two. So I guess we want to change the red one and hope we get a two. Yep, we did. So we want to discard the three, I'm guessing. And now we've got a pair of twos, which is good. Yeah, so the closer the value is to zero, the stronger it is. Okay, so yeah, so this is really good. Only a one can beat me. All right, round two. So we'll stand then, because we've, we've got a good set. That's so, right. so I've got twos, two, one, four, four. So I win. One, six, nice. The winner takes their invested chips back to the stock. So now I've got six, four, three, and one of them has been eliminated. Okay, well, we know what we're doing now. Let's win this. Oh, we got like perk cards, refund so we can get two chips back. We can avoid a draw fee and we can tax the other players one chip. Let's do that. Take that. And then I'm going to draw. What does that mean? Throw dice to set its value during a reveal. So that one is an imposter and it reveals itself at the end. So if I don't get one, then I I would I would lose that out it I would guess so it's kind of a gamble All right she's got one as well so she's rolling the dice oh she got one one jammy let's see what I get if I get a one then it's a draw oh so I threw the dice and it gave me two numbers so I can choose one so if I choose the value of one so now I've got a draw so we share them and the other one's eliminated wait what you can try and cheat by sending Nyx to spy on the opponent's cards oh really no way hold up to see what card she's got. Oh, that is so cheeky. <laughs> All right, press it in the right spot. So she's got a set of threes. So if she keeps her same cards, we know she's got threes. So we need at least twos. And we've got a two there. So let's change the five. What's that? Is that a one? A Psylocke card. Match the value of the other card in, in the hand. So that automatically copies my other hand. If she just keeps standing, I've, I've won. There we go. All right, she's got two tokens left. All right, I got the imposter card, which means I could get lucky and get a one. I can also get my two coins back from the middle. And now we're going to stand. All right, hopefully we can roll a one. Damn. Oh, no, I think we got one there. Yep. Nice. We win. I feel like this game was probably fixed because it's part of the story. <laughs> Is one of those gimmies, you know. The first one's always easy. And it looks like we can accept contracts now as well from Donka. I'll be doing many, many more of these since I'll need to complete 40. They also give nice credits, which is a nice plus. They also give rep for the factions. They're all small jobs and usually just involve stealing something or maybe hacking some data. But after that, I found this nice looking food stand. I'll have a bite to eat. Nick's treat. It's a reward. Oh, okay, we get like a crazy animation as well of it making the food. <laughs> okay. Alright. Hey, look at this. Mm, there it is. Wow. Damn. 
Holy sh that looks good. That looks like a monster hunter meal. Not quite as big, but you know. Oh, he gets to eat as well. They even turned it into a mini game somehow. Okay. I think I can play one of those uh, Quantum Dream games. Like, it's just button prompts to do everything. <laughs> Blowing on, on it to cook it faster. Oh, there we go. Oh, we gotta catch it. <laughs> nice. Okay, that was not what I was expecting. I was expecting to just buy it and be like, oh, okay, you got a buff, but nope, we got a whole mini game out of it. Oh, that's cool. Nick's tree. So when we had the food, we unlocked the ability for Nick's. So we'll kick grenades away. And since I had a good standing with a pike, I was able to buy items from one of their vendors, VIP stock. Give me the good stuff. Oh, that's cool. Nick's tree. So when we had the food, we unlocked the ability for Nick's. So we'll kick grenades away. And then did a cheeky little upgrade to my ship. Stronger laser. Oh, I could change the look of it as well. Nice. So yeah, at the minute, I'm just kind of going around trying to earn money and materials so I can upgrade my ship and my speeder so I can continue with the main story missions. And while doing that, I came across this robot that needed fixing. Luckily, I had just the part I needed to repair him. Ooh, trophy. Stay on target. But moving on, completing missions and earning money, I finished a challenge for an expert. These are characters that you'll meet throughout the game. They're very important, and once you find them, they'll usually teach you new abilities, and they'll allow you to explore more of the planets. And, even better, they come with a bunch of challenges to complete. Completing them comes with a bunch of different things, maybe new items, upgrades, new moves, sometimes it'll increase your health. There are a couple of examples. I met this guy who told me a story about how the Pikes and the Stormtroopers won't leave him alone. His partner sneakily reported him, so he blasted him charming and then to top it all off his ship fell into a ravine honestly i feel pretty bad for the guy good listener okay so those experts i met this mechanic who would give me a booster upgrade for my speeder all right so she's willing to do it but she needs a part so i'm gonna go steal it the usual stuff just another day in the life of a oh god oh god So that part, I headed through this fan into a cave, made my way across some platforms, did a little bit of climbing, and then this happened. Oh god. <laughs> Oops. Fail aside, I did find the part. There it is. That's what we came for. Shut down the fans, we can get out of here. After a pretty cool exit, Nyx was okay and I drove back to the mechanic. On the way, I stumbled into a skirmish between some pirates and troopers. Oh, a pirate raid. I event, it says. Steal the Imperial supplies, three of them. Jesus, there's loads of them. Let's see if I can sneak up to them. I will take them out slowly from behind. They don't even know I'm here. They're oblivious. Oh, okay, one of them sees me. Yep, you know where I... Let's take them out. There we go. Right, now I can take all the loot. Mine, mine, and mine. Thank you very much. There we go. New speeder component. Speeder boost. Now that I had the booster, I could now continue with the main story. I took the speeder out for a test drive and boosted off a sweet ramp. Ooh, so because I just performed a 60 meter long jump, I can now unlock the ability to do a short little upwards bounce. While on the speeder. After that, I headed back to Wacker. To continue with the main story, I'd need to use the speeder's boost to enter an Imperial compound and steal a power core. Having that would allow me to enter a new area with a ship upgrade. So, I quickly set off towards the compound. We've got to make our way through an Imperial restricted area, so it's going to be uh, pretty rough. You can see there are ATST, which I haven't come across before, so I don't know how confident I am I'd be able to take that out. So I'm going to try and stay out of its way. All right, found our way in. Go, Nix. You know what to do. Go. All right, we got it. There's the power core. All right, we just got to get out of here now. Install. There we go. Power core installed. And then switch to my other gun. Power that up. And we're good. Wow, look at this place. Exactly. <laughs> old shipwreck. All right, we're going in. Some climbing and swinging later. I got this nice shot. Damn, this place is so cool to explore. All right, let's restore power to the reactor. Oh, wow, I've got to climb it. 
There we go. Power restored. There's health kits and explosive barrels everywhere. You know what that means. Shit's about to go down. Yep, just as I thought. And then, unfortunately, my gameplay got corrupted. But here's what happened. Wacker showed up with a woman called Vale. He turned on me and wanted my shit. I was like, hell nah, brother, you ain't having my shit, what are you talking about? They all then turned on him and shot him. Night, night, wacker. After arriving back on the ship, I met up with Jalen and a robot called ND5. Jalen had a proposition for me. He wanted me to pull off a heist. And if I could do it, he would remove my mark that the Empire had on me. And also, I'd make enough credits to start a new life, which is kind of what we're after. So, we agreed, of course. He gave me ND5, who would keep an eye on me and if I did anything a bit dodgy, it would kill me. Charming. To pull off this heist, I would need a crew though. And right now, I've got Nyx. MD joined the crew and I got an upgrade for my weapon. Okay. Well, I guess I'm doing as I'm told. Ooh, a trophy. Tip the scales. Now it looks like we can also upgrade our blaster, so let's do that. We've now got rapid fire. I then grabbed a device that would lead me towards some undiscovered secret gear hidden inside some vaults. This will come into play later. For now, I have crew members to recruit, so let's jump in the ship and head to a whole new planet. On the way, I got a cutscene with Vale telling Sliro, Slyro, whatever the hell his name was, that's the geezer from the beginning who killed everyone at the table, that he wants me dead. Nice. And since he's so pissed, he assigned Vale to take me out. Alright, we're in Kojima. So I've come here because I can recruit a safe cracker to the team. Alright, there's our safe cracker. Oh, she's in debt. So if maybe we can get rid of her debt, she'd be willing to join. After landing, the new faction called Ashiga had a word with me. And just basically said, don't do anything stupid. When do I ever do anything stupid? I was getting a little bit hungry though. We can do another meal. We got soup this time. Look at that thing. Oh my god. It's making me hungry. Wait, it's got larvae in the, the noodles? Okay, maybe I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> Come on, get your tongue off it. Oh my god. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Fighting over the last one. All right, all right. You win. Okay, with our bellies full, I can get back to the task at hand. Recruiting Ankh, the safe cracker. It turns out the Crimson Dawn had stolen a relic from the Ishiga clan. And if I could get it back to the Queen, she would help me get Ankh. Happy days. So let's go get it. Okay. All right, we're in. Just got to make sure we stay undetected. Fine. This relic is mine. All right, let's get this relic to the queen. Oh, well, this is where the queen lives. After handing over the relic, they said that we could work together. We find out that Ank is working in a factory making weapons. I'm going through the ship inventory and I found something you could use. Come see me. Hmm. All right. You release a powerful explosive bolt. You can use the workbench to build the module. Ooh, a new upgrade for my pistol. Fire a bolt that explodes on impact. And at the factory, I did indeed find her. All right, well, we found her, but she's determined apparently to fix the thing she's working on before she'll leave. So I've got to go to a locker room to go and grab what she needs. That's why she wanted me to come to the locker room. She wanted a lucky charm. All right, now she's willing to leave. Oh, okay. She's uh, making a lot of noise as, as she does leave. <laughs> right, help her escape. Okay, and then she's going to join my crew, which is what we want, I think. I tell her that I wanted to join the crew for a heist job and then stupidly tell her that I've already tried to rob it before and failed. Yeah, definitely not the best pitch. Oh, all well, that, she doesn't even want to join. Brilliant. All right, well, let's get the hell out of here. Jay says that if I wait for her to finish another job that she's currently working on and earn a trust, she might change her mind and join. All right, so it seems I'm going to be helping Hank with the job that she's got. So we're going to have to break into a stronghold. So I grab what I came for, and then I have a choice to make. Do I give it to the Ashiga clan or the Crimson Dawn? Let's give it to the Ashiga clan. Trophy as well. The Queen's word is law. Oh, and another one. I think I had a choice. Another trophy. One job, 
at a time. And now we got our crew member, Ankh. We're slowly making waves. And now we're excellent with the Ashiga clan. Terrible with the Crimson Dawn, though. <laughs> I'm sorry, Crimson Dawn. I'll make amends at some point, I swear. You said no, right? And if I... They offered him 40,000 credits to portray me. Damn. Now with my new member, I can head out and complete a mission for the pipe. They have a word on a traitor I that I have to track down traitors. and then take to the boss. Once I find him, I have a choice. Do I take him to Gorak or accept the traitor's bribe and let him go? I decline the bribe, take out an enemy and then deliver him. Sorry mate, but you're coming with me. Cutthroat politics. Increase our reputation. Shortly after that, I'm on a mission with ND5. I get into a bit of a shootout, steal an item, and then refuse a bribe from an Imperial officer. As I'm leaving, they start to hunt me down, and this vehicle does some mad maneuver, almost knocking me off my speeder. As I continue on, I find this officer, and then bribe him to remove it. Ooh, it wasn't me. I obviously haven't learnt my lesson, because not much later, I once again got myself in some hot water with the Empire. I came to this base in search of a new expert, but I took out one too many troopers, so they launched a manhunt and sent out a death trooper squad. Oof, scary. Oh well, at least I finally found her. So I've come to this one because she's going to teach me like an advanced version of my slice, which is basically what I do to hack computers. So I'll be able to uh, hack more advanced versions. I now had to help her escape. Oh nice, we hacked all the uh, the turrets in the base. <laughs> right, I gotta disable the anti-air turrets. Right, we're done. Let's move. She escaped. Happy days, but I did still have this manhunt after me. So I raced over to the squad. We got a death trooper squad. Gotta acquire the officer's key card. I took out the first black trooper. Izzy did these sick moves. There's the key card, thank you very much. Use key card. There we go, I got a trophy for it as well. They live up to the name. So I hacked the system and cleared my name. <laughs> nice. Right, can I have my uh, slicing kit please? I have been at this for over an hour. There we go. New ability unlocked, slicing kit. So now I can slice a range of devices and use jokers to give her an edge. Then while in space, I got in an epic fight with a huge ship. I'm trying, I'm doing a terrible job of avoiding these missiles. Almost. Damn, that was insane. All right, we're off to Tatooine. This place looks amazing. All right, I've got to talk to the sheriff. Are you the sheriff? You kind of look like sheriff. So I came here to recruit another member called Hops. The sheriff captured him, but he somehow escaped. So now I need to go and find him. Of course I do. Looks like we've got a little bit of trouble. Let's defend the sheriff. Oh, is that it? Just those two? Oh, okay, that was easy enough. Jesus, we're getting freaking attacked by the wildlife. Fuck her off. They're attacking my speeder. Get off my speedy, you little turds. After a bit of searching, I find his hideout, but he was nowhere to be seen. All right, we'll put the power back on at this place. Nice. I did find a body, though, which had some data on it, which told me where he was heading. What is going on here? Where is Hoss? It looks like he got away. Well, let's keep following the tracks, see if we can find him. We're definitely being watched. I get the feeling I am not wanted here. All right, well, we found him, but uh, this is not a free man yet. So as usual, we're gonna have to do some ob odd jobs to free him. And as I was making my way to the objective, this happened. Oh, Jesus, what the hell? <laughs> oh, one of them survived, he's still shooting me. Get out of here, mate. All right, so I've got to find the stolen dragon pearl. There's my dragon pearl. There's your egg. Can go as long as you uh, pay my tab. Pay your tab? Your tab um, how much is your tab? The oh, at the cantina? Tell her I don't want how much? <laughs> Worth a shot. All right. Meet me at Docking Bay 94 in Mos Eisley. <laughs> he was just pulling my leg. All right, there we go. We've got another member. He was way easier to recruit than the last one. <laughs> With all that action, I took a time out. Ooh, we got another meal. My favorite. 
some extra spice. <laughs> she can't handle the spice. It's like a Star Wars version of chili wow, con carne or something. Ugh, I'm never asking for extra spice again. Tasty though. <laughs> I then continued my time out playing a space arcade game, blasting away ships and asteroids, and earning a new high score. Ooh, a trophy. There is no try. All right, we'll sit down and wait for him. He better turn up. <laughs> okay, let's go to the cantina. He's probably getting himself into trouble. He loses the game and has no money to pay the winner. Oh, he's gambling. Oh, things are about to go down. Then gives them nips as a payment. What? Are you serious, bro? You're trying to sell my nips? Oh, no. After struggling, I get nips and once again get knocked out and get another flashback. No, oh, this is how she met Nyx. Haha, oh, it's too cute. She's letting him free. And I guess he's gonna be like, no, you saved me. I'm gonna be loyal to you. Oh no, Nyx, what are you doing? Oh, so mum trained her up and obviously that's how we met the guy, the bartender. Obviously at the beginning of the game, we was living in the, uh, the attic or whatever. And that's how they became the dynamic duo. Oh god, we got a break into Jabba's palace. That's where Nyx is. Oh great. Nothing's ever easy in this game, is it? I can never go somewhere and just do something. There's always like, nope, first you gotta go over here and steal this. Or this happens, so you gotta go and sneak into this place. Do I even want Hoss on the team after that? I mean, I guess we can keep it professional. I don't have to like the guy, but... For now, let's just go get Nyx back. I think we're in pretty good standing with, uh, with Jabba's crew, though. Yeah, look, the hook cartel we're in good standing with them so we might actually be able to uh at least talk to them and and free them without too much hassle i'd imagine it would be really easy if we had excellent standing but there it is there's his palace i guess i'm not even going to try and talk to jabba we're just going to be sneaking in instead sneaky sneaky all right we made it inside now to find nix all right, so far, so good. Got to be careful, though, because we've got these big enemies here. I can't actually stealth take down those guys, so I've got to completely sneak past. Okay, right, we got to take this geezer out here because he's got the key that we need. Uh-oh, they see the dude I took out. I wonder if I throw a bomb at them. I wonder if that would, like, trigger. Uh-oh. As long as they don't set off the alarm, should be okay. And if I don't die. All right, well. Bro, the range on that's ridiculous. Right, got the key card, got a strong gun. Take him out. There we go. Right, that was messy, but we got what we needed. All right, use the key card. Oh sh! There's Boba. I think it's Boba Fett anyway. Ah, so that's why he wants him, because Nix is a rare breed and he's a collector. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, but you are not adding Nix to the collection. Oh, this is where he keeps them all. I mean, if these are rare creatures, why is he keeping them locked up like this? What the hell? Here we go, here's all the creatures. Where are you, Nyx? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Uh-oh, I'll be right with you. Jeez, I'm lucky that doesn't kill him. All right, those two are down. Oh, we got more. All right, we're good. Come on, at least I didn't take the scarf off him. He kept that on. <laughs> all right, well, we've got Nyx, so let's get out of here. There's Jabba. Once I finally reach Jabba, I find the Muppet Hoss and Veil, who had made a deal with Jabba to take me away. Jabba doesn't care and drops both of us into a pit. I told you I shouldn't have tried sneaking in there. I should have just walked up to Jabba and be like, yo, bro, I know we're like on good terms and stuff. Can we like work this out? But no. Oh, brilliant. Oh, we might have a boss fight. Potentially my first boss fight. I don't think I've really faced a boss. I've faced like important characters, but none of them were like bosses in the sense. All right, well, I was going to say I really don't want him on my team, but uh, I guess we don't have, <laughs> he's definitely not on the team now. Oh, God, I got poor freaking standing with the cartel now. I worked my way up, leveling him up for nothing. At least I did break out and I fought my way through some enemies. All right, there's the exit. Uh oh, no, it freaking closed the doors. Here we go. This is the boss fight. 
All right, she's on the computer. She's going to do something, I guess. Maybe I have to distract it while she uh, does a thing. Oh, so we don't actually face it. We, uh... Oh, we just have to give her enough time. Okay, makes sense. I mean, I guess we are um, just a normal person after all. We're not like a Jedi or anything crazy. But we got explosive barrels above. Okay, shoot it down. There we go. That works. I'm guessing that's doing damage. Can't really tell because there's no health bar, but... It's simple enough. We just wait for him to charge. Smack into a wall. Oh, we can get him to break the front gate. All right, well, let's get him to charge it again. Okay, so I think the way it works is he'll only charge once we hit him with the explosive barrel. Because that'll kind of get him annoyed. And then he does the charge attack. Oh, what? They're throwing enemies at me? You freaking kidding me? You think you ain't got enough to deal with? We'll go off. Come on, Rancor. Charge me, you little noob. Oh, here we go. We got the... Uh, yeah, there we go. See, now he's got that red thing on his back. I think now he'll start doing the charge attack. Yeah, yeah. See, now he's doing the charge. It's the second hit. One more, maybe. All right, we got to restore the power. Go on, Nyx. Get up there. Oh, my God. He almost got crushed. There you go. Power's back. Now she can do the explosive barrels again. Come on, you idiot. Charge. There we go. I mean, that's convenient. He knocks himself out just as we've got enough room. All right, let's squeeze through there. Oh, really? <laughs> it's been a long time since he's been so entertained. Does that mean I can get my reputation back, please? I need it for a trophy. What are you laughing at? Calm down, Nyx. All right, let me keep Nyx. There's a spy. Bring his name. Okay. Making friends. What reputation went up a little bit. Hopefully it went back up to what he were. Yeah, there we go. Well, I mean, not quite as good as it was, but at least we're in, in good standing now. Poor guy. All right, well, we've got Nyx. Let's freaking get out of here. Move aside, fellas. Thank you. All right, get in. Figure out who the spy is. Get the info. Get back to Jabba. Get in his good box. And then we can leave the planet. We can go look for our next crew member. All right, let's slice this and get the intel. Done. Go. Get out of here. Boosh, boosh. Woo! Oh my god. We made it. Nice. Uh, loads of canisters. Something's about to go down. <laughs> well, they called us amateurs, it looks like. The Empire's onto us. Yep. Okay. Time to fight. Oh my god, there's so many. Oh, hell yeah. I don't know what that was or who it was, but thank you. Oh, ND5. What a legend. Oh, go on. Get him. Come on, Vale. Let's go. Let's get that hell out of here while we're still in one piece. All right, spy's been dealt with and the debt is paid. Cool. Right, we can finally leave the planet. We're doing this? You know, I'm not really in the mood. Let's start running. I'll be back for you, Kay. Quiet. Rare friends. Wait, ND owes money to Jabba as well. Does everyone owe Jabba money or what? All right, let's go to the Akiva orbit. Woo! Here we go. While out in space, I got into a battle with an enemy ship and managed to get the final hit without lasers or missiles. Never tell me the odds. Here we go. Akiva. A new planet to explore. So my goal on Akiva was to recruit my final crew member. And while exploring a little, I hacked my 20th terminal. Sliced like you. And I then took another short break for some more food. Ooh, more food. I would not want to eat that after seeing flies come out of it. Nice job. High five. Oh, that's too cute. <laughs> Ooh, 
Ooh, trophy. I met with a new boss man named Sharat. Oh, Criff. Who is he? There's our guy. Who betrayed me. Okay, so we're going to give him some spice if he can tell us where the uh, person is we're looking for. Of course, is it an Imperial station? It's my brother. What? The man in the table. Man in the table's his brother? But... He took his eye, so then he killed him. Oh God, yeah. Jesus! I see the resemblance. All right, well, let's uh, let's not stay here too long. If he's willing to kill his brother, then uh, I don't stand any chance if I annoy him. All right, well, we've got the location on the guy we're trying to recruit, so let's head out. As I was making my way to the main objective, I did a little side quest and went into this area and hacked an advanced terminal into the mainframe. Inside the base, I found my guy. All right, there he is. He's hacked a little drone to shoot me. <laughs> oh, all right, he's in. Nice. Whoa, 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 whoa! Turn it off. <laughs> uh, yes. So to continue on with the main path, I would need to find a way of upgrading my speeder to be able to drive across water. I found him, and after talking to him, he put a piece on my speeder to do it but it'd only be temporary. It would quickly break and fall off. So for now, I can cross the water, but I would need to get another one, a new one, a stronger one that would make it permanent. Once I reached the location, it turns out my item was on a ship, which left, and I needed it. Oh no, it's leaving. Let's go. All right, let's see if we can get the item. Hopefully it's there. Yeah, there we go, the struts. All right, we just gotta go meet him now. There we go, my ride has been fixed up. I can now go across water permanently. All right, so I've been doing a mission where I'm basically... Uh, been Someone's been fixing bets and I had to go and figure out who it was. I got some intel that this one was going to win, this Hujib's foot. So let's bet on them and uh, hope that is the one that wins. And then if it does win, I can go back to the leader, the boss man, and uh, tell him who's been leaking and fixing the, the races. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got a trophy for it as well. Against all odds. Uh, the intel was right indeed. All right, I can go tell Surratt now that we've uh, figured it all out. Reveal the scheme. They're fixing races. The Pikes are working with some Canto official. Paying off the jockeys. Next, I headed into another base with Gadeet. And he hacked the droids so they wouldn't attack us. After he did, we started to be attacked. I defended, and Nyx brought me a weapon to use. Ooh, right back at ya. We good? Still in one piece. Andy five. Scaring me a little, buddy. There we go, that's it's the droid safe. shut down. We should get moving. Oh, it looks like uh ND's took a bit of damage though. Or him shutting down the droids has had an effect on him as well, possibly. There we go, we got the Viper droid with us. There right, we go, follow it. Okie doke. But the Viper droids have done done some work. Took out all the stormtroopers. Uh oh, that's a lot of them. Go on, droids, go in, get them. <laughs> nice. Come on, rebels, we've got them. All right. Good job. Well done. Oh, we got a trophy as well. Spiked. Nice. Let's get back out to orbit. There we go. New crew member, Jadik. And we got a new kit as well for an upgrade. Oh, the Empire are after us. Here we go. Things are about to get crazy. Oh, nice, because we're friendly with Pike. They're helping us in this space battle. That's cool. Let's get rid of the big one. Let's take it out with a missile. Boom! Get out of here. Nice. Oh, God. Ooh, this is crazy. Oh, I'm taking a lot of damage. I need to move. I think we got it. Nice, we got it. And a trophy as well. The heavier they fall. Oh, whoa, whoa. MD, my guy. He is... Bugging out big time. Oh god. Where the hell are we gonna find one of those? I hate to have to say this, but isn't he programmed to blast you if we go against Jalen's plans? This is your chance. No, try again. Okay. 
There's an old factory from the Clone Wars. We need okay. to talk to now, okay. Right, we need to get our asses over there. Fix him up. I needed to get him a new pole. He's going a bit crazy, so we've put him in transport mode. He's just randomly shooting at nothing. And my good friend has given me a fusion core, so that might come in handy for uh, to unlock some new areas. Just like that. And we're getting deep in the facility now. It's kind of creepy, all the robots on the conveyor belts. Look at the size of this place. It's crazy. Seems someone got there before us, and if I wanted the core, I would have to go and save his team who had been captured. I headed out and saved his team, and he gave me the core. Thanks, man. Perfect. That one. Oh, here we go. We're gonna fix him up. Uh, here we go. Let's pop his new core inside. You've got it backwards. I got it backwards. <laughs> Oops. There we go. Boom. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, no, yep. Yeah. It's working, I think. Okay. Oh, we well, just got knocked out. <laughs> There's ND. He's up and alive. Wait, what? My mum's alive? I didn't realise her mum was still alive. I mean, it never said she wasn't, but I just assumed. So her mum's coming on the job. So I wonder why they don't they don't get along anymore. There we go, new crew member and a trophy. Best of the best. With our team fully assembled, I could begin the final preparations. First, with the help of a mum, we would need to eavesdrop on a secret meeting and hack into Slero's room and steal the codes for the vault. Alright, here's the meeting that we wanted to drop in on. I'm out. You're mine. Well, finish the job. Well, this is a surprise. Oh my god. Darth Vader showing up? Okay, I was not expecting Vader. We are on the verge of uncovering the rebel network. This is an unqualified success for the ISB. Zarek Besh has not found oh God, a I am in way Alliance. over my head. <laughs> That's nonsense. Without rebels, Zarek Besh is a failure. You, Director Barsha, are a failure. Uh oh. Failure. We know what happens when uh, Darth Vader thinks you're a failure. Uh oh. What's going on? Oh no. Oh, what? I'm so close. Oh. Is he gonna. Then I suggest you find some rebels. Is he gonna do it? No, I think he's giving him another chance. Jesus. He's about to pierce him with like a hundred pieces of glass. Ready my ship. Now. She's got some guts continuing this mission after seeing Darth Vader. Alright, we're in his living quarters. Let's check his main computer. Alright, we got the codes. Alright, now we need to get to the main terminal. Otherwise they're gonna know we kinda hacked into it. Okay. We gotta cover our tracks. I see the terminal, but there's like a hundred officers in here. Oh my god. How am I going to get to the terminal? Surrounded by people. Oh. <laughs> no way Rico is telling him to go for an emergency briefing. <laughs> That's great. My mom's coming in clutch. We still got a couple of them though, so still got to be careful. All right, we've given her access. All right, there's our escape. Let's get on board and get out of here. The director. And we're finally back home safe. You say goodbye to 157 million credits. 157 million credits we're gonna get. That's crazy. One last shot, freedom. No more looking over my shoulder. I don't believe it though. Something's gonna go wrong. This is everything we've been working towards. Upgrading the speeder, stealing a ship, and upgrading it, finding all my crew members to pull the job off, and it's our chance now to finally get it done. Alright, step one, 
shut down this first barrier. You're up. It's your time to shine, Deke. Nicely done. Let's go. Alright, come on, Asara. There we go. Infiltrate the mansion. So far, so good. Alright, to get inside, we need to shut down the fans. So, shoot that. That'll shut them down. We can go through. Yep, there we go. Fans have stopped. Hey, there's my crew. Alright, made it to the vault again. Let's see if we can uh, actually get it done this time. She's going to do a little slicing for us. There we go. Pass the first part. Alright, we got to slice at the same time. Alright, we're in. Barrier's down. Turret's down. Trying to hack the droid. Nice, it worked. We're in. <laughs> that was close. Good stuff, Deke. Alright, let's make sure we put, open the right one now. So Didn't we open that one last time? Let's plant the explosives. There we go. Get out of there. Boom. Did it work? Alright, now Rico's going to hack it for us. Now that we actually know the codes as well, we should be able to get in. Oh no, we can't fail this heist again. Let's do my uh, Red Dead maneuver. There we go. We got them all. Come on, get it open. Oh no. Ooh, is she going to turn on him? No. Let's go, Vale. Is this a joke? Oh ho ho ho. We're giving a 10%. Okay, 15. I think we could do it for 15. There we go. Thanks, God is in. Oh, Last there we go. Just knock him out. Nice. Are we actually going to pull this off? All right, so we're escaping through the casino. Let's do it. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Get the hell out of here. All right, we actually made it. A data bank. That's what we got. Schematics. Damn. Some very important information. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, he's trying to stab us in the back. Oh, crap. You didn't keep your eyes on the score, kiddo. God damn it. It's not me, Kay. ND didn't actually want to do it to us. Now we got another flashback. We might find out now why uh, she dislikes her mum. We know she just randomly got up and left. That's, uh, that's definitely enough for you to just be like, yep, I don't want to deal with you ever again. Yeah, she just left. That's harsh. She left us the gun and the chip. Uh, so she kind of didn't want her to uh, follow in her footsteps. He's giving us the room. She says just for a few days, but we all know right at the beginning of the game, she's still living there as a grown-up. An eye on the score. At least we always got Nyx. Nyx will never stab us in the back. Oh, wait, what? The chip has got something on it? <laughs> My crew. <laughs> Thank you, Ank. Oh, we're on the Star Destroyer. There's Deke. Oh, we're going to try and get ND back. At least we got a real crew now. Then we got these two. They're clearly on, on our side. We'll get ND back. Even if we don't get the money from the vault, at least we got ourselves a good crew. Oh, nice. <laughs> we dressed up as a stormtrooper. We're going undercover. The bad thing is, is we're probably going to encounter Darth Vader again. And I don't see that going too well for us. Now we need to shut the camera down. Let's go upstairs and turn it off. There's the terminal. There you go. Camera's off. Need to take this officer out. Night, night. We're going to join Slayer Rose, Stormtrooper Escort. Just blend in with him. He's leaving. We're joining. All right, up we go. Come on, I could shoot him right in the back of the head right now. All right, let's escort him to the bridge. And then Jalen turns Jaylen. apart nowhere, and we find out that Jalen is Slayer Rose's brother. What? And then Slayer Rose stabbed Jalen in the back to get a promotion. So this is basically one big revenge plot against him. Are there any families in Star Wars that don't end up stabbing each other in the back? And moments later, Jalen commands ND5 to kill him. Oh! Damn, that's cold. Just straight up killed his brother. I really thought I'd feel something. And he doesn't feel anything, that's crazy. But we're just spectating all. <laughs> yep, all this for revenge. Oh, go. Oh, God. Things went real bad. Andy 5 saw me 
and now he's trying to kill me. Oh, he's friggin' chasing us. You see, part of him saying, get away from me. So there's still a part of him still in there. Down we go. All right, so if I can get ND to the middle of the giant core thing behind me up there, we can stun him. All right, before I can do it, I've got to get the generators up and running. Oh, God. Oh, got to power all these up. Got to hold it long enough, though, for it to generate. There we go. Right, that's all three of them. Should be able to restart it now. Yep, that's one restarted. There we go. It's the second one. Oh my god, look how fast he runs. Alright, we need to get out of it. Run, slide, dive. Go, 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 go. Let's go. Oh my god. Alright, this is my chance. I need to run. Charge it up. We got him with it. This is my chance. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, Nyx. Nyx, you absolute legend. Me too. Nice. Andy? I didn't think you had it in you. <laughs> they made those BX units tough. Blaster. No. We did it. Nice shot, ND. Nice shot. You okay? Never better. All right, there's a lift. We just need to get out of here now. No doubt they're gonna throw everything at us. Run, boys, run! Just keep running. Just run. Go, 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 go! Oh my God! Get us the hell out of here. You'll never take me alive. Hyperdrive, let's go. Oh, we're going to fight them. We're not even escaping. We're going to take them on. All right, here we go. We're holding out for reinforcements. The question is, are we even going to get any reinforcements for the reinforcements to get here? We need to take out the ship. All right, there's the ship we've got to take out. Let's get rid of this thing. Almost there. We got it. Oh, the Ishiga. An exchange. What? Hurry up. The Codex. Okay. Deal. Deal. Okay. <laughs> Okay, the rebels and the Shigura allies for today. <laughs> so that must be where the reputation comes into effect. If we have maximum reputation, they'll come to back us up. Oh my god, we're taking out the Star Destroyer, no way. Alright, first we've got to take out the shield generators. That's one shield generator down. Alright, there we go. Shield generators are done. Alright, next up, the reactor. Come on. Right, boom. Reactor's done. Whoa, look at that. Oh my god. That's insane. Mission accomplished. Whoa! Oh, that's so freaking cool. Having a nice drink with the crew. And with the big job done, Ank goes back home, debt free. And Gadeek has many more casinos with safes to blow up. I meet Vale outside and hand over some data that's worth a pretty penny. Already got one. But hey, I'm easy enough to track down, right? And there they are. ND and Nyx. Where do we go next? Yeah, what's next? Anywhere we want, ND. Anywhere we want? Okay. And there it is. Calling in some favors. Star Wars Outlaws. Complete. Ooh, we got some Best post credits. In the galaxy caught for using March credits. You have any idea what this is? A tracker. A strong one too. Custom build. The tracker. Say at least 10 years old. So that's how we got found earlier when we Whoever were stuck in there. Wanted to know exactly where their mark was at all times. You can't trust someone's always going to be there. But that's what makes it matter when they are. Not bad. For an Imperial. Damn, I'm Army slick. Trooper. Very slick. There we go. The journey is over for now. Check the journal to finish any unfinished quests and intel. Alright, so even though the story's complete, we're obviously not done with the 100% grind. We've still got gear to find, 
reputation to gain plenty of upgrades to do which means we're gonna have to do a bunch of contracts as well so on a side mission i took out these enemies found some info and after giving it to the hook cartel i'd reached maximum reputation with them what you see is what you get i found a dead sarlacc in the desert that i needed to explore to find a tooth that could give to the jowers for a new ship upgrade this is so gross oh my god there's the tooth pristine tooth that's what we came for we gotta find a way out of this place so here's the tooth so sh now that i've got the tooth this should give me a pretty decent upgrade to my ship well really they got about five million of the bloody things okay there we go new equipment the laser turret I held this guy up with a fast talk ability and defeated my 20th enemy doing it. I'll bet you have. I then went back to the sheriff from earlier who would teach me how to quick draw mark more enemies. Who the hell is this guy? Where's Quint? Who are you? Oh, we're going to test our quick draw now. You want to die first? Fine by me. You're going down, mate. Adrenaline rush. Oh, we can mark more enemies now. Nice. New ability unlocked. Adrenaline Rush Mastery. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure we need a trophy where we need to kill a certain amount with Adrenaline Rush. So this might make it now possible to actually mark the right amount. Let's do my uh, Red Dead Redemption move. Ooh, trophy as well. Shoot first. Nice. Oh, I think I get a trophy as well if I do this first. Like... 30 seconds, maybe? The trophy board. There we go. Galaxy Drift. There was a trophy for it. Oh, Lando. What the hell? Hello. Wait, don't I need to beat Lando? Cut the cargo. Deliver the cargo. Oh, we're timed. Let's move. Deliver cargo in one minute. 20 sec. Oh, I've actually got to get more cargo as well. Oh, that's pretty easy, actually. Still like 41 seconds. Crimson Dawn. I think if I get them up... Yeah, there we go. Cloak and dagger. So that's maximum respect with the Crimson Dawn. Hey, there we go. Into the darkness. Oh, I can finally do the last upgrade for a weapon. No match for a good blaster. There we go. We saved the poor robot from torture. Encryption module. So now we can listen to transcoders. Ooh, experience outranks everything. Let's right, see if I can destroy this ship with a loop maneuver. Yeah, there we go. Sometimes I amaze even myself. Ooh, might want to buckle. Oh, that must be for all those upgrades. Oh, nice. Lando's challenged me to uh, a game. I think if I beat him, I'll get a trophy. Oh, I might be able to get a trophy here, actually. I think if I take out five enemies, I think it was, while on the speeder. Although, I don't know if the enemy's got to be on the speeder or not. Yeah, there we go. Don't get cocky. Next, I went to accept the challenge against Lando. And to get the trophy, I had to beat him while cheating. That's easy for me. I always cheat when I play this game. Nice. There we go. That might have just won with the game. All right, so we successfully cheated. Let's see if we can win now. Ooh, he might roll a one. He didn't. Nice, that means I win. There we go. Win. And we cheated to do it, so that should be the trophy. There it is. No such thing as luck. Just cheating. All right, this should be the last Nyx collectible I need. Let's make my way through. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. What is that? It's probably... Oh, it's Nyx. <laughs> I was just about to say, I bet it's tiny. It's just a shadow, but it was Nyx trolling us. There it is. We get the beautiful view and my final collectible. Boom. Got you something. Smelly bone. <laughs> All right. So for these uh, secret pieces of gear, I need to do these things that are the very hard to find. It's these Outlaw Legends. I've shown it previously in the video a little bit. But I basically have to scour around looking for these holo tape things. But when you finally do, you get this thing. So you're a holo tracker. 
and then you get this and it'll basically show you the mark, the location of where the vault is, or the key card at least. And then you've just got to go and find where that is on the map. So it says there's possibly a vault key card over there, so we're going to go that way. So it's saying there's one around here, so I've got to look around for it. Alright, so there's a vault key card there. I don't think that's the one I'm looking for. Ah, so it looks like that's where we need to go from looking at the hollow deck thing. The image looks like that. It's pretty cool looking. So I'm basically looking for a symbol that'll be etched into something. There we go. So then you find this and then you transcode it and then we get the signal beeper thing. We've got to follow the beeps and that should lead me to the vault with another piece of the gear. Signal's good. All right, signal's getting strong around here. So I'd imagine this is where it is. Oh, stopped. Okay, it seems pretty strong. Ah, there it is. See, so you're looking for these, and then you insert the little thingamajig, the vault key, and then it opens up a vault, and then we can go in and grab our loot. All right, so we just got info that there's another key on a Kiva, so that's where we're going to have to head after this one. There we go. So there's another piece of the puzzle. Oh, nice, there's a ramp here. Oh, I almost missed. There it is. We in. Oh. Oh, it was rigged with a, an alarm. Oh, God. Need to shut you down. Ah, there's a button there. Go on, Nix. Don't know if that'll turn it off or not. Yeah, nice. There it is. It's now time for the final push. I did some pickpocketing. Oh, nice. Easy pickings. I've now pickpocketed a person in each of the four canteens. Use Nix to attack 30 enemies. How rude. Did lots and lots of contracts. Finally, honest work. I've done 40 bloody contracts. That was pretty boring and it took ages. Hunted down each cartel's big bad shit. Oh, I think this is the last one I need to kill for the trophy. Just need to make sure I don't take any damage. Well, any hull damage, which can be easier said than done. Looks like I'm doing okay though. Yeah, there we go. Punching up. Nice. I was searching for this for a good altogether probably like two and a half hours so i'm glad that's done only one more trophy to go and this trophy at the time of this video it's completely unobtainable which sucks meaning i had to wait for it to be fixed which took quite a while but now it's finally fixed i can go and get it oh my god we can finally open it hidden coordinates all right that's what we're looking for is this it oh my god old school cool which means I've got the Platinum Outlaws. And that brings an end to my massive 100% journey through Star Wars Outlaws. If you enjoyed it, consider leaving a like and subscribing because it really does help out the channel. And maybe check out this video.